Welcome everybody uh, to the second video of the channel. Today we're gonna do another quick tutorial on how to uh, proper uh, do the alignment of these camps. Okay, so as uh, if you work already with ExoCAD, if you know somebody that works uh, with ExoCAD, you know that sometimes the the, the clinics doesn't send the uh, skins in the proper uh, occlusion. This is the reason why we ask the bite scans, okay? So uh, that we can put the individual uh, arches on the right position to uh, we make the, the the work, okay? So, so uh, in the last video we did a quick tutorial on uh, uh, what is the indication in materials. Uh, how to put uh, the client name, the name of the patient, the technician, and all of that. So if you didn't watch, please uh, go watch. It's, it's a very good. It's the first step to start uh, dealing with ExoCAD. So hit design already. Uh, open up the ExoCAD. Uh, the the first thing that you will notice when you open up the design page of ExoCAD uh, is the upper left corner. Uh, the ExoCAD will ask you, uh, we will tell you uh, watch, uh, which scan that you have to open first. So upper jaw, so double click on upper jaw to open the upper jaw scan. And then lower jaw, double click on upper jaw, lower jaw to open up. Okay, so here it is, we have the upper arch and the lower arch over here. As you can see, they are not on the, the right position. So. To put them on the right occlusion, you're gonna hit on, um, gonna click on expert mode, double click on it. Then you're gonna go in tools, and you're gonna on uh, this tool right here, add and remove mesh. And now uh, we want to open up the byte scan match, the the byte scan mesh. So select uh, select mesh type gonna hit on it or you're gonna hit on it and go on generic visualization mesh you're gonna load now we're gonna choose the STL uh, the byte scan STL in this case it's this one here you can put yes or no doesn't matter because uh, it, it isn't on the right position so doesn't matter I'm gonna put no and now we're gonna hit on align match meshes so this is very important. The floating mesh is the one is that is gonna move, and the fixed mesh is the one that uh, is gonna stay still. So in this case, we're gonna put the bind scan on. Uh, doesn't matter if uh, it's gonna be the upper or the lower jaw. In this case, I'm gonna do the lower jaw first. Okay. So uh, to be able to to move the the floating mesh to the the right. Uh, position we have to put one point here on the floating mesh and one point on the sorry on the the same point at the same position on the lower jaw in this case of course then we do this three times in a row Now that we put uh, all the three points, uh, we're gonna click on perform alignment. As you can see, it's uh, almost on the same position. So to be perfect, we have to uh, hold control and click on best fit matching. So. As you can see, uh, the meshes are in blue. That means the, the meshes are uh, perfectly uh, on the same position. So, you're gonna hit on X. And now it's very important, don't click cancel. I did this uh, sometimes, so click OK. And now, uh, to position the upper jaw, we just go on tools again, and then align meshes. So, as uh, I told you guys, the floating mesh is the mesh that is, uh, is going to move, okay, so 
uh, we we want to the upper jaw goes on the right occlusion with the lower jaw. That means that the lower jaw, the upper jaw scan uh, will be the mesh that will move. So. So, uh, I got a little bit of trouble here, but now it is okay. So, uh, we did the three points, okay, on the two meshes, and now we're gonna hit uh, perform alignment. As you can see, it's not perfect. So, hold control, best fit matching. As you can see, it's blue now, so the, me uh, the meshes are perfect in the perfect position, the same position. So, now we can take out, as you can see, the scans are in the perf in the perfect position. So let's get rid of, let's get uh, rid of the byte scan. Remove object. The STL of the byte scan. Okay, okay. And that's it. Uh, now we have the scams perfectly on the perfect on the perfect occlusion so let's imagine that you put it in the right uh, occlusion the skins on the right occlusion and now you want to export the, X, the stl of uh, this scan uh, to to the scans to be on the right occlusion when you open up on another cat or on another computer what you have to do is uh, hide the the lower arch or the upper arch doesn't matter. Let's hide the lower arch, and now we have just the upper arch here. We're gonna hit on the right. We're gonna click on the right uh, but, uh, button of the mouse here, and then we're gonna click on save scene. Let's select like uh, workstation and put another upper job. Put the name that you want. Now hit put the type on here on STL. Okay. Save. Yes. Now it, this is the important part. You have to click here. Use the default co uh, coordinate system because. Uh, he will put this scan on the right position. He is the original position. The uh, the reason position, of course, was wrong. So hit uh, use default coordination system. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna do the same with the lower arch. And that's it. Now you have both upper arch and lower arch uh, with the perfect uh, position, the, pos the correct position and now you can work um, fine and uh, progress with your um, project. So thank you guys very very much for watching today's tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, share with someone that is uh, trying to learn ExoCAD too. Please follow me on the social media. I have my Instagram down below, uh, the Instagram of Excalibur Academy, the Instagram of uh, my lab, my personal lab, and my personal Instagram. Thank you very much and bye. Have a great day and bye.